Okay, a few years back I made a tutorial on uh, Movie Maker. And it was, uh, I made a few of them. One of them was on uh, editing audio. So here it is. And one of the most common questions I was getting is uh, how to layer audio. Uh, questions like, like this popped up a lot. Is it possible to put two pieces of music on top of each other? And that is possible, sort of. Uh, it's not really ideal. Movie Maker isn't the greatest uh, audio editing software ever, but uh, we can work around it a little bit. So let's open up Movie Maker. Okay, so I have this short little video set up here. Uh, and what I've got is uh, my video track in, a, in the audio music track. I've got a narration here. Now you can see that there's another audio track here. Uh, I've muted it because it's just a bunch of background noise that I don't need. Uh, but if it's something that you would need, obviously you wouldn't mute it. So uh, just to give you an idea what this is going to be like, we'll try to play this and you can listen to it through my cheesy mic. To make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you will need a loaf of bread, a butter knife, a jar of peanut butter, a jar of jelly, and a plate. Okay, so that's the idea there. And what we want to do is maybe add some music underneath that. But we can't do that right now because our audio music track right now is taken up by this voiceover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this as a video. And we're going to try to do it as a relatively high quality one. So I'm going to go to save to my computer. And I'm going to call this something. Say next. Now when you get here, uh, normally it's set to best quality for playback. Uh, it will look like this, but you want to click on show more choices and come down to other settings. And there's a whole bunch of choices here. And the one you want to choose is DVAVI. It's the highest quality we can get here with Movie Maker. Uh, so it's gonna you can see that this video is about 18, 19 seconds long. And it's 71 megabytes, which is a pretty good size movie for uh, uh, for that that short amount of time. So I will click next, and it's going to render out the movie. And now that that's done, I'm going to say finish, and I'm going to open a new project here. So I click on this little new project button. Sure, why not? Uh, by the way, I'm running Windows 7, but I still use the old version of. Uh, of uh, Movie Maker. I do like it better than uh, Movie Maker Live or whatever it's called now. Uh, it's just, I don't know, maybe I'm just used to it, uh, but the Movie Maker Live doesn't seem to have as as much uh, ease of use for me. Now I'm going to import video. So I'm going to import the video I just made. There it is. And I'm going to drag it and drop it in here. And now you'll notice that I have this audio track here which is associated with this video up here and I now have an open audio track here so if I play this it'll sound just like it did before to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich you will need a loaf of bread a butter knife all right you get the idea a jar of peanut butter. I mean it's not perfect because we made, we've made a copy of this so it probably did lose uh, something in the transfer there but uh, it is sort of a workaround here. So now that I have this open audio track, I can import music. Import music. And now I can drop this music right into my music track. Maybe shorten this up a bit here. Now you'll see that I whoop, probably don't want this going that long. Do a little fade out at the end. So let's see what we got. To make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you will need a loaf of bread, a butter knife, a jar of peanut butter, a jar of jelly, and a plate. How's that, huh? Well, I hope that answers a few questions. And uh, yeah. We'll see what I can do next time.